away from the start, I can feel it in my heart, like All the way from the start Hey, what's going on out there? I'm Sean Devine, and today I've got a quick tutorial for the Logic Pro X users. This feature was actually brought to my attention uh, by a user on my channel named TDOT, so shout out to him. This is a feature that's a little bit tough to find in Logic Pro X until you've uh, used it, but um, I have this hook, and so in all of these layers, there's quite a bit of noise happening in between uh, when the vo uh, vocal signal is actually coming through. So I've showed this in some of my other videos. Normally I would just use a noise gate. So um, I'm gonna play the hook just so you can hear what we're dealing with. I loved you so hard that you made it look easy To abandon a love you left with no reason All the things unsaid So a really clean vocal there. Um, let's go ahead and I'm just gonna zoom in to our layers here. And I'm going to also just solo this layer so that I can let you hear what's going on in all these takes. Let me take the reverb and the delay off so you can hear it better. I loved you so hard to make also need to turn off the noise gate. You so hard, you made it look easy to abandon a love you left with no reason. So there's a really substantial uh, hum and buzz, and then you know just some little things in the uh, the dead space that we don't need. So normally, again, I would use the noise gate, uh, which I have in this mix. Or I would use the marquee tool and you could go in and select it and mute uh, this way. Now a lot of you may be asking, well, why don't you just leave it? You can't hear it in the context of the mix. Well, that's only because I had the noise gate on removing that. But uh, that's just in one layer. Now once you start really stacking these up and you've got that hum happening in all of the layers, then you end up with a real buildup that you will definitely be able to hear. You so hard, but you made it look easy to abandon a love you left with no reason. So I see it's it's pretty substantial. Um, so you don't want to have that across your channels or any any channel for that matter. You want to get rid of that stuff. So um, let's go ahead and let's jump into the strip silence feature. All you need to do to use it is right click on your region. Now you'll see it up at the top of my menu now because it's the last thing I used. Uh, however, I don't recall seeing it there before. So you wanna access it, otherwise you need to go to the split menu, which is a little bit confusing. I understand why they put it there, but um, kind of hard to find if you don't know it's there. So now we're gonna see our threshold control and you can adjust this accordingly, but you just want to do it until we've got the audio signal selected and then this dead space in between is what will be actually stripped. Um, and then we have a minimum time to accept as silence. So if we adjust this, it will kind of be a little bit more picky about what it's picking up there. Um, but we want to go ahead and we'll just leave it there. And then we have a pre-attack time. So if we want to have it uh, give us a little bit of give before the take, uh, we can do so. And then the same thing for a little bit of a release. So let's just do that. We'll click OK. And what it will do is just remove or strip the silent parts or the, the parts that we don't need that the noise gate would have been removing. Uh, so now if I solo it. I loved you so hard you made it look easy. To abandon a love you left with no reason. Now, one thing you may want to do if you are going to uh, remove this stuff with strip silence is just to go on and add a little bit of a fade in, a little bit of fade out on both sides, just so that the cuts on those regions are a little bit smoother. To abandon a love you left with no reason. 
So yeah, it pretty much accomplishes the same thing as noise gate, but uh, again, just another option, another tool in your uh, box of tricks with Logic Pro X. Hope this is helpful, y'all. If you learn anything, feel free to like and subscribe, and we'll talk to you soon.